I am Lucrao Rylo. Yeah! I did it! Yes! Welcome back to another video. Now we were supposed to be in Lombok right now, mm -hmm. but Doesn't because look like the beach. yeah, because of the <laughs> devastating earthquakes, which really sucks, we our hearts go out to everybody there. Uh, we are now in Vietnam. It was like our only choice for a direct flight somewhere, and we were like, screw it, let's go. We want to see it. And Stacia is all about Vietnamese food. So good, I love it so far. So we are here for the next like 28 days and we need to explore some stuff and we really don't know much about this area yeah. so if you guys know about vietnam or you live in vietnam please leave a comment down below let us know some places you want us to go see and some maybe tourist attractions and yeah. then stuff that's like off the beaten path that maybe isn't so touristy Definitely. yeah we would love to know that stuff um but right now i pretty much brought us to like the main tourist district of Ho Chi Minh City. It's called Ho Chi Minh Square. Um, and we're just here to kind of learn a little bit about the history of Vietnam and Ho Chi Minh or Saigon as a city and explore, walk around for the first time. Just did a tiny bit of research and if you want to correct me in the comments below, please feel free because I don't know everything there is to know. Right behind me here is a statue of Ho Chi Minh himself. They call this statue Uncle Ho, which is like kind of in reference to Uncle Sam in America. And it's really interesting being here because growing up in America, we were kind of taught to believe that Ho Chi Minh was like this terrible communist dictator who murdered Vietnamese and Americans in the Vietnam War. But a lot of Vietnamese do look up to him and admire him, hence the statue here and this entire square and city. I believe that Vietnamese are brought up in schools to respect and admire this figure. However, I have read that there is a large community of Vietnamese that kind of think the same way as us, that he's this terrible communist dictator. So I think the culture is split on if this guy's a good guy or a bad guy, but regardless, there's a statue of him here in this whole square and city is named after him. So right here behind us, you'll see is the city hall building of Ho Chi Minh. Or is it Saigon? Yeah, we, I guess it's like politically correct to say Saigon. I don't know. But I, it's I, officially Ho Chi Minh City, like on maps and stuff. It was called Saigon during the French colonial times. Ho Chi Minh overthrew the city in like the mid 1900s to late 1900s. I don't know the exact date, but that's when the city was renamed Ho Chi Minh City. But I know a lot of locals still like to call it Saigon. So I'm not really sure what the situation is with that. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if it's better to call it Saigon or Ho Chi Minh. So it's Sunday, so the building's not open for us to tour, but we can look at the outside and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really well preserved. Uh, and what's nice is... <laughs> Sorry, it's really windy here. A lot of the French architectural buildings have gotten demolished since French colonial times, but this one has been saved and it's just gorgeous. It's really beautiful. We're well, getting hopefully. Vietnamese language lessons right now and we're failing miserably. The first part is Day Lo Cao Lo. Day La Cao La Cao La Cao Lo. The second part is M. <laughs> mess that up. <laughs> what does it mean? The sister take the the garbage and uh, clean it, then cook it. The the brother take the take the cooked garbage to clean up. Gay le crow roi lock. Yes. M le crow roi lock. No. No <laughs> man. I was so close. Try again, try again. Game, game, la crow, roy law. Yes, yeah. I am la crow, roy law. Yeah! I did it! Yes! I did it! Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Guys, 
we are fluent in Vietnamese now. That's, that's it. We're moving here and we're staying here. I'll never forget that. Oh, that uh, was amazing. <laughs> Someone leave a comment down below and translate that for us. Yeah. We're not sure what it means. I think they just got us on film for like a YouTube prank or something. <laughs> came across this street and it's like my favorite street ever my dream street it has like every electronic store you can think of so there really is no plan for today we're just walking around aimlessly through the city right now just trying to find some cool things and like see what the city is all about like when you first get to a new country to like soak in what it feels like to live here is really important to me so that's kind of what we're doing right now yeah we're just kind of gathering our bearings and seeing what places are available and seeing how the locals live but there's a Sony store right here and I'm going to it real quick all that Vietnamese language learning and camera shopping has got us thirsty for some Vietnamese coffee so I found a shop right around the corner we're gonna head there now I really think Ryan has gotten more into coffee lately. He's been drinking mochas. And lattes, and but I like mochas the best. Um, so I really think he would like like a Vietnamese iced coffee, which is just like no, really strong. I'll be espresso. freaking out like, ah! <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mocha, baby. <laughs> and then we found smoothie bowls. And then I got a Vietnamese coffee with sweetened condensed milk. Vietnamese coffee is like twice as strong as regular coffee, so whenever I drink this, <laughs> I feel like I'm having minor heart palpitations afterwards. So we just had the absolute best lunch, smoothie bowls and coffees at this place called The Running Bean here in Ho Chi Minh City in District 1. Yes. You gotta come here if you're in this area, it's so good. Okay, so the one thing about Vietnam that is just like has me, my mind is blown <laughs> is I thought the traffic in Bangkok was like the craziest I've ever seen. This is just nuts. Yep. Vietnam is just on a whole nother level. There's just, I think it's what, like 95% bikes? Yeah. It's absolutely insane. The traffic is always just tons of people everywhere. I I still, I can't get over it. They tell you to, in order to cross the street, you just keep walking with your head straight and <laughs> bikes have to swerve around you. Yeah, so. like they'll stop for you, but like we see people like walking across the street and they're just like <laughs> telling people to stop. It's so crazy. It's that's crazy about these drivers on the bikes is that like, there'll be a whole family of like four people on one motorbike and then I just saw a kid completely passed out where his head was just like hanging over the handlebars just completely falling asleep it was the craziest thing I've ever seen all right we're gonna try our luck car crossing the street you just gotta just go for it and people will skirt around you Frogger, babe, go, babe, go, go, go. <laughs> it's crazy. I fucked up. I stopped in the middle of the street. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. Are you ready for this again? Y'all ready for this? Da, 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 da. Not really. <laughs> yeah. We can do it, babe. We it's can do the it. the cars that scare me more than the bike. They're not going to run over somebody. Unless they're not paying attention, they're not going to hit you. Just got to wait for just a slight little opening okay. and then just go for it. I'm going like right now. Let's go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> we made it. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when your parents always told you to look both ways before you cross the street? <laughs> This, you just gotta look one way and just start walking. <laughs> and eventually you'll make it to the other side. Okay, I'm gonna get a foot massage and Stacia's gonna get a pedicure. <laughs> After a long day of walking around, this is exactly what we needed. Yeah, you've never had a foot massage since Thailand. Though. Yeah, I know, since Bangkok. <laughs> this massage chair, they had to turn it down because I was like, oh, shit, get like crazy. Okay, whatever color you get, 
I'm gonna have him paint my black toe. Are you really? I am, I am. Can I have that color on this toe? <laughs> We're covering up this black toe right now. <laughs> yes? I want it to look good. I want it to look as good as hers. <laughs> Right now, we are on our way to the square, back to like the city hall area where we were earlier. And there's, I guess, like a night market that goes on yeah, there. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a night market, but it's a pedestrian walking street. And on Saturday and Sunday nights, tonight's Sunday, they block off two additional streets to traffic and just it's all a huge pedestrian walkway. So Sunday night is supposed to be the best night to go, and we're going now. So we made it back to the square and we're just kind of walking around. There's a lot of people here, but there's really nothing going on. There's yeah. no vendors, there's no performers, there's there's no food. We might so, be early still, because the streets are still open, so I feel like we're too early. Alright, we're just playing it by ear. We have no idea what we're doing or where we're going, but you know. It's so nice yeah. out. Oh my goodness. That's the one thing we've noticed so far about Vietnam is the weather. Now, so yes, nice. this is the rainy season, they call it. So it's more of like their down season. And it's so windy throughout the day. Yeah, it is. So the breeze is what like makes it so comfortable. But you're not like overwhelmed with the heat like all the other places that we've been mm -hmm. visiting. So, so far, even though it's like the rainy season, it's worked out pretty well for Very us. Very pleasant. It only rains like every day. Actually, today it didn't rain at all. Yeah, that was um, surprising. It was surprising. But it only rains every day, like torrential downpour though, for two hours, somewhere between like three and five or between four and six p.m. And then it's over. So the whole morning is like partly sunny. And then the whole night is like cool and breezy because the rain calms down all the humidity. And I love traveling in this season. Yeah, awesome. yeah. So far, we've had a good experience with the weather here. To finish off the night, we came to Hagen Das because I wanted to get some ice cream. And this, the craziest Hagen Das I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's, it's like you walk in, and if you want to eat it here, you get your own server. Like, look at this place. It's amazing looking. You can get a fondue. You can get this chocolate bomb, which is like they melt it right in front of you, and then there's ice cream on the inside. Seventh Heaven, that like it smokes. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower, that thing looks good. I got some cookie crunch, it's like cookie powder, and then a hot waffle, and then cookies and cream, and Belgian chocolate. And look at this, I can even eat the Haagen Dazs symbol. But that's it, we're gonna call it quits for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button on your way out. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!